here again from Sleepy Hollow Cemetery, not the Dutch Church burying ground that, that way. We've come up into the more modern section, I guess you could say. There's a lot of new graves over there. These mausoleums are like a mix. Some of them are early 1900s. That one there, which is just downright, it's like the Hilton of this cemetery. I think that's 1920. And here, I don't even know if we have a here in our just as the Lewis family. This vault here um, is one of the only ones that we could find where you could actually see in to the window and actually see where the coffins would be resting. The coffins are, of course, behind um, concrete slabs. Stained glass window, it's kind of beautiful, kind of morbid. But the thing we found here that's really weird is that there's one, two, three bullet holes in the glass, obviously from a very low powered gun, maybe even a BB gun, I don't, I don't know. Um, it's kind of like at the Strauss Mansion, we used to have that piece of glass that had a bullet hole in it and it was a very low caliber gun. But if you notice here, if you zoom in on that again, these bullet holes are all from the inside. You can feel just a little bit of, I guess, where the, the air popped through when it was shot. The impact, though, is coming from the inside. We don't know anything about this thing. I don't know if this is anywhere online or not. It might not be anything paranormal whatsoever. It's just one of those odd things. Why does this vault have three bullet holes in it? And why are those from the inside? One of those things we will probably never know. Um, but again, if you, you look in there, this is just one of those. It's really sober and knowing you're this close to death. Hopefully not our death, just death in general. Anyway, very quick video of the bazaar, Sleepy Hollow Cemetery. Definitely worth a day trip out here. Now we're going to do some more exploring. Recaggiano, we'll see you next time.